Good morning. Up at the crack of dawn. <laughs> I am pacing the Leeds 10k today, pacing 60 minutes. It's sponsored by Arla, so I've donned my visor, back in my pacer t-shirt, and I'm heading into town. Slightly frustrating thing is the start finish is very close to my house where <laughs> I'm heading into town to get my flag. So up early, but in the dry. Now I woke up so early with massive thunderstorms. Has not filled me with confidence for attaching a big tall piece of metal to my back and going for a run. Storms are forecast. I'm just really, really hoping that it stays dry. There are tiny bits of blue sky. I'm keeping everything crossed. <laughs> It's really nice to walk past the start on my way into town. That's making me a bit excited, seeing all of these flags for penning us up in the right place and the Parkinson building just behind me. So um, it's definitely gonna be a different vibe in an hour or so. It'll be coming up to um, sort of, maybe we'll be warming up. We'll definitely be in the pens nice and early. And there's going to be a road full of colour, full of runners, waiting to run the Leeds 10k. This will be my home. Here we go. Sub one hour. We'll come and stand here and then walk up this hill. Once the race has started, heading to that start line. See, the thing is, even if you're not really feeling it, once it gets to race day, once you start seeing things in place, marshals, road closures, the start, you can't help but be excited. Poignant to be running past this. In a world of adversity, we must dare to dream. Rob Burrow. Number seven. Really, really lovely to walk past that mural. The last time I was in my visor and pace the top was the Rob Burrow Leeds Marathon. And since then I've seen so many finishers t-shirts all over the place with Rob's number seven on the back. So again, another thing making me super excited for the race. And I'm sure so much money will be raised again today. People running for really, really worthy causes. Arriving at baggage, I can see our flags actually, um, maybe on the first one here. I'm a bit early, but I didn't sleep, so I figured I may as well get here and get myself sorted out. Anyway, let's retrieve these flags. I think I'm sorted, so I've got my number, got my flag, um, few issues because there's no t-shirts for everyone else. So, um, yeah, there's a couple of us in our Pacer t-shirts, but otherwise we are a colourful bunch today. So, uniform free. But, um, yeah, I've got mine from the Rob Burrow Leeds Marathon, so I'm in uniform. Maybe I get extra points. Um, we've got our special bands. There's hospitality. So, I might have to head to the hospitality and see what is there. Um, we've got more than half an hour before we need to be in the pens, and it's a five-minute walk. So let's go and explore and soak up the atmosphere of the race village. There's a collection of paces there. There's actually no queue for numbers. Most were sent out. And then Civic Hall, that's where hospitality is, just up behind there. And then we're chatting to these guys here who are running as chocolate bars, which is hilarious because that's going to be really difficult. If it rains, they might struggle. <laughs> We are, we are laughing so much because they left out one, one too few rucksacks. And Neil, Neil, can we see, can we see your rucksack to a turn? <laughs> He's fashioned his own, which is amazing to be fair, with a pole sticking out of the bottom if anyone gets too close, and a flag hitting him in the head. <laughs> and the, <laughs> if anyone's bag could go missing, it is great that it's Holloway's. Um, <laughs> look at that face. <laughs> so we'll, we'll try and see you at the end, Neil, and see... Uh, you'll be in A&E getting some bandages <laughs> on the back of your head. <laughs> it's all good fun. <laughs> Just checking out the hospitality. It is so beautiful in here. 
I've never been in here and wow. And there's bananas, water, tea, coffee. Um, what a lovely place to be. Saying goodbye to this gorgeous room with these amazing chandeliers. Look at that. And heading back out. Oh, she's gonna limbo, she's gonna limbo. I made it. <laughs> then he keeps forgetting and then you go through a door and you either, it pulls you backwards if you don't limbo or we look like dinosaurs because we're crouched forward. I've got my banana, got my drink. Oh, I think I might make this one. I'm gonna lean back slightly, there we go. I made it, yay, <laughs> thank you. So let's go and get in these pens. It's lovely and warm today actually, or it's a bit, it's a bit muddy, um, but it means that we don't need to worry about any extra layers or anything. I'm just going to get in the pens and be comfortable and uh, get people excited about their 10k race. People streaming up to the start. Just had my picture taken with Ronnie the Rhino, obviously it had to be done. And heading up towards the Parkinson to the sub 60 pen. Oh look, there's the chocolate bars. Look at the chocolate bars, that is awesome. Supporting Blue Bellwood Children's Hospice, what an awesome cause. Look at those guys, hope they don't suffer too much today. That does not look an easy outfit to run in. The sun's just starting to come out. The pens seem really well spaced out, it's not crammed in here at all. They've um, put the markers down the road really well. They're just working my way up towards the Parkinson. Less than five minutes to the start. Proper buzz. Can't quite see the start from where we are. Just up around the corner. Um, so a little walk uphill to get there. But we'll be there in less than five minutes. The wheelchair race has started and we are all squeezing up, edging our way towards the start. Seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Race start. Almost there. Edging, edging, edging towards that start line. The sun is properly out now. It is going to be a hot one. So, so, so muggy. And um, the start line announcer was just talking about reasons for running people raising money for charity and they made my hair stand on end and I got that proper excited feeling of being out here in it together. So good smiles for him. Give us a wave, give us a smile when you're going past. Give back Harriers, good morning horse for Harriers. Getting ready to start my Garmin on that start line. Here we go. And we're on our way, the lead 10k in the sunshine. Amazing support. Let's find our pace. The road's not too busy at the moment. Morning. The road's a bit wider, so we can hit our pace now. Just try not to go too quickly or too slowly. This first mile is the hardest one to get right. This part of the route is a reverse of the loop that we did round Woodhouse Moor for the Yorkshire, not Yorkshire Marathon, Rob Borough Leeds Marathon. But it's always nice to be running next to a park run. Makes me feel happy. I've been a little bit poorly, so I wasn't feeling very bouncy today. So I put on my vapour flies. <laughs> Just so I feel bouncy. So hopefully that's gonna keep me smiling on my way round. One kilometre here and 55, 56, 57, 58. <laughs> Bang on pace. Shouldn't be a couple of seconds under 10 minute kilometres. So that's awesome because my Garmin did not like the buildings in the corners. It's getting like 7.55, 11.40. I <laughs> just jump, jumping around all over the place, but we're on pace, that's what matters. The shade here alongside Woodhouse Moor is lovely. Really, really enjoying that. 
And appreciating the support as well, lots of marshals. Thank you guys. This is a brilliant loop. Awesome support on the corner. Seeing people coming the other way. Oh, thank you. That is so exciting. Checking in at 2K. About to have a lovely little downhill. And then come back. And we get to cheer people on on that corner as they're coming out. Circus is in town at Cindermore as we enjoy this downhill and it is hot. <laughs> I am super, 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 super warm already. <laughs> Thank goodness it's only 10k. Checking in at 3k, little drag uphill here, but just a little push is to stay on pace. Water station here. Heading through the middle. Staying away from these edges. I'm in my pack. Don't need anything. Run straight through. Oh, it's hot though. I think we're all now thinking we wish it did rain. <laughs> it's absolutely boiling. But the storms and the rain of this morning seem to have completely disappeared. Just bright sunshine. Does make Leeds look amazing though running into Headingley. Checking in at 4k. Absolutely love that. One of the dads from Poppy's school is there banging a drum, cheering us on. That's what we need. We want the energy. Awesome support here. Yay! Thanks Caroline. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Yay, Gordon, thank you. Yay, thank you so much. Checking in at 5K. Halfway, guys, you're smashing it, well done. And we're bang on pace. Coming out onto a short out and back section. Got to love these bits of cheering on our fellow runners. Seeing everyone's faces. And that'll be us in a minute. Oh, I can see some high fives ahead. Out the turn around here. Flying around the corner. And heading for home. Thank you so much. Well done, guys. Checking in at 6K. Bang on for 60, but we've got a bit of a hill, so we'll let the legs go a bit on the downhill. And we can ease off a little bit on the uphill. Thank you so much. Sponges here. If anyone's too hot, I do actually fancy a bit of a wash. <laughs> Look at the floor. I love it. Look at all these sponges. I hope they're going to be recycled. A massive car wash or something. Um, but I'm sure some runners are appreciating that little bit of water to cool down. Checking in at 7k, bang on pace. I want 41.25 on my little blue Peter pace chart. <laughs> we got 41.25. This race has such an awesome feel. I know all of these roads so well. Running past friends' houses, getting cheered on by home park carriers and Woodhouse Moor Park runners or other park runners from Leeds. Just past my crazy friend. Doris, who's marshalling, she told us she doesn't feel sorry for us being hot and sweaty because she's menopausal. <laughs> so I got a good laugh from the crowd. Oh dear. We are smashing it. 8k, checking in. Everyone's doing so well. We've just banked about 10 15 seconds to use on the hill, so we'll need that in a minute just to make sure everybody can stay with us. Yay! High Park Carriers Water Station! Thank you guys! Thank you! High Park Carriers are a bit quieter than usual. I think they were really concentrating then. Doing an awesome job on the hydration station. Thank you guys! Another sponge station just to cool people down as we start the drag uphill. Got a little bit of time to play with. Just dragging uphill. Slowing the pace a little, trying to keep people with us. 
just cresting the hill, coming up to 9k. 9k checking in. Hang on pace. Let's do this. One kilometre to go, guys. We've got this. Thank you so much. Running right into Leeds now, past the stadium. Heading towards that finish. You can smell the finish now. <laughs> We're so close. Let's get these guys past us. Yes, well done, guys. Into the finish. Looking really strong, guys. Well done. Yes, awesome run. 200 meters on this corner. People flying past us now. Yes, guys, it's downhill. 200 meters here. You've got it. Love the channel. Go on. Thank you. Let's get people into the. Let's get... Yes, look at them go. Look at them go. And the finish is just ahead up here. We've got a minute to get there. We're easing into the finish, getting people to fly past us. Here we go. Let's get people in. Well done, guys. Yes, you're flying. Well done. Sue McRae, well done to you. Like on it. <laughs> and that was the lead 10k. Well done. Smash it. First time pacing. We proper, we had like 45 seconds to get in. Well done, well done. And um, I think we, thank you. We might be up just on the line to cheer people in. Might be one second over. Um, we were determined to get those people to pass us. Oh, so inspired by the awesome people today. Flying past us in that last kilometre. Yes, Leeds. Well so people will have been coming across that line for the last, I don't know, 25 minutes. I wonder what the, the front runner did in half an hour. And um, there'll be people, oh, yeah. You got PB! <laughs> you flew past us, you looked amazing at the finish. Collecting our goodie bags here. We've got medals, we've got some crisps. Let's have a look and see what else we've got. So we've got a vegan chocolate bar. Is it chocolate orange? I love chocolate orange. Some electrolytes, bag of crisps. I've got cheese and onion, not feeling cheese and onion, so I've just traded with the runner for ready salted. <laughs> it's not a cheese and onion sort of day. Um, and the medal, of course, we've got our medal. I do love a medal. You know they might not be great for the environment, but I love them. I really love them. So thanks. What happens if I walk the other way? You don't want to find <laughs> Oh, I don't want to find I say, so, now that you said that, I do, Mr. Rutson, I do. <laughs> Ian Rutson there, he's always involved in these races, works for Parkrun, he loves it. Um, always good to try and cause a bit of trouble though. Just for a laugh, I wouldn't really. Um, there's an amazing buzz today. So many people coming and saying thank you, thank you, I did it. I um, got a PB or got just under an hour. Just awesome. Oh, I'm so happy for everybody. What a day. We were just chatting and I was like, what's your time? But you only registered this morning so they won't have they won't have put your mobile number into the system. Um, but I registered before so I've just got a text message with our time. 59 59 that's some pretty good pacing right there um, <laughs> that is awesome we smashed it we smashed it everyone else smashed it everyone's happy just what a buzz well done first time pacing nailed it nailed it i absolutely love that millennium square looks amazing in the sunshine yes it was hot but look at this look at this Leeds looking absolutely glorious in the sunshine. I do love a race where we get hospitality, um, so <clears throat> veggie sausage sandwich, lunch sorted, and I can go home shower, go pick up Poppy. What a morning. Can't think of anything really that I'd rather be doing. I found some pacing friends, have sausage sandwiches with, so we have had a good debrief, a good chat and a laugh. Sausage sandwiches, bananas, drinks, 
and it's time to leave now. It's hilarious because I thought we were having lunch. I've just realised it was like 10.30. <laughs> but that wasn't lunch at all. Um, but either way, I need to head home and have a shower because I am sweaty. There's still a buzz in Millennium Square behind me as the event winds down. Really great day pacing. Huge thanks to Nick from Northern Pacing Volunteers and to all my fellow pacers that made it an amazing day. And the crowd actually. Awesome support, awesome runners. Everyone just seemed so happy today. So that was just a real joy and a pleasure. It's really lovely to walk home this way on the closed roads and <laughs> think back a couple of hours and this street was very, very, very different. Filled with runners and the race about to start. So we'll report back. Neil got on really well with his homemade backpack. <laughs> well done, Neil. <laughs> um, and yeah, some happy paces. We have like a Facebook group where we all just message how we did and it seems across the board everybody loved it. Really successful day of pacing. The barriers are all just being cleared away in front of me here. So I guess it's time to say goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed running the Leeds 10K with me. Uh, all of the usual things. Give it a like if you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more running adventures and I will see you soon. I think um, the heat is getting to me. I'm a bit like... <laughs> Time for a shower and to refresh. Take care guys, see you soon.